Hi, my name is Wouter Emery and I am the founder of Airshaper. In this video, we will be discussing vortex generators. You may remember one of our previous videos in which we analyzed the aerodynamics of a vintage Volkswagen Beetle. We discovered that the airflow over the car detached somewhere around the rear window, and the theory was that this happened because the downward angle was too steep for the flow to stay attached. Now let's dive into some theory to learn when this can happen. As air flows over a surface, it tends to stick to it, slowing down to zero. Away from the surface, air is moving at the free stream velocity. In between the two, you will get a velocity profile. This transition zone is called the boundary layer. As the air in the boundary layer is moving slower, it contains less energy and less momentum than the faster air moving above. If the curvature of the surface is too strong, the boundary layer will not carry enough momentum to follow it. The faster, more energetic air above will tend to be dominant, wanting to continue on its horizontal course, pulling away from the surface, causing the flow to detach or separate. Locally, the velocity profile can even feature a reverse flow caused by an adverse pressure gradient, creating a rotating separation bubble. We saw this in our last beetle test, where the tufts close to the top of the window were moving in the opposite direction towards the roof of the car. This separated flow can cause a large wake behind the car, causing unwanted drag. So how can we prevent this? One way of doing so is to simply reduce the curvature of the roof and the rear window. You can see this on modern streamlined cars like the Mercedes CLA. Another way is to install vortex generators. Now, vortex generators are small devices that improve the transition of momentum from the free stream air to the boundary layer, giving it the required energy to follow a curvature. Now, a simple example of vortex generators are planes that are positioned under a slight angle with respect to the wind. As the wind hits the front of these vertical planes, it will create an overpressure. At the other side, it will create an underpressure. Now, as you may remember from our video tutorial on wingtip vortices, the air wants to skip over from the high pressure side to the low pressure side, creating a vortex on both of these plates. Now, this will cause energy of the flow going above the vortex generator to be transferred into the boundary layer, creating a more turbulent boundary layer, which stimulates energy transition. So we installed some high-tech paper vortex generators on the beetle to see if it would work. Turns out that the position of the vortex generators with respect to the rear window is quite crucial, but in the end, after some tweaking, we found a position that worked. By mapping the movement range of each individual tuft, we were able to compare both setups. Without the vortex generators, we saw a lot of movement and even reverse flow along the entire width of the top line of tufts. With the vortex generators installed, we saw that this movement was much reduced and reverse flow was even eliminated. So they tend to work, the vortex generators. That was it for this video, thanks for watching, if you liked it, click the like button below please, and if you want to stay tuned for more, click the subscribe button and we'll get back to you soon. Bye bye!